Hello everybody, I am not Pog, and today we are doing another origin review. And for today's origin review, we are reviewing the Suguru Ghetto origin. Born with the curse manipulation technique, Suguru Ghetto lives in a cycle of exercising and consuming. Now in case you haven't already recognized this, but this is a character that comes from JJK, otherwise known as Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> In which we also covered the Maharaga origin, both made by Redwood. The download is in the description, and be sure to give Redwood some love and appreciation. Now, without further ado, let's get into the showcase. Just like in the anime, you can absorb and capture mobs, and you can also resummon them. Now, if you hover over this, it will tell you what keys you can use for the origin. I found that they didn't correspond perfectly with your keybinds, but I took the liberty of finding out which keybinds it was so you can basically use it with ease. All right, so for the first ability is that you can toggle whether you want to capture or not. So this by default is your save hotbar activator. So I have mine as V, but you can set it to whatever you want. When you do this, everything will be highlighted. And like in the description of the origin, it says that mobs that are highlighted black are ones that you can capture and ones that are highlighted white are ones that you cannot capture because you've already captured them. So because this cow is black, we can capture him. So by using right click, you can capture him. Now, if you did notice, you did get weakness and nausea. So there is a small debuff at that, but it's nothing major. It's just a small visual debuff. But you can just capture to everything that you want. All right. Now, just like the origin description says, you can cycle through them. So if you press your secondary keybind for your origins keybinds, then you can scroll through which mobs you've captured. So as you can see, it says selected cow. And if I use primary, then I can resummon it. And as you can see, now it has a white outline. However, be wary of what mobs you capture. These cows have low health, so they're pretty easy to capture and are basically instant in order to capture them. But if a mob has more than 10 health, then they become a little more difficult. So you need to lower their health to something less. For example, if I try capturing this creeper, it says this entity isn't weak enough. And then it also displays 10 hearts. And in case you haven't already noticed, it also doesn't have a glow effect. However, if I hit it, now it has taken enough damage for it to be below 10 hearts. So now if I hit it with right click, it is mine. And just like before, I can summon it. So now it is mine and it will not attack me. It is my friend now. Another bonus is that if you're not in capture mode, you can toggle it off and by right clicking an entity, you can ride them. It's a small little fun buff, but pretty cool nonetheless. All right, let's move on to the next power, complete control. Mobs that you resummon will fight for you. So that creeper that we summoned before, we can make it attack another mob. So let's get a ravager, summon our creeper. Here he is, and if I punch the ravager now it will target it and blow it up so i do recommend using skeletons or zombies rather than creepers since they do self-destruct overall it's a pretty simple ability but it makes it super useful especially when you hoard a bunch of mobs and just resummon them at will all right for our next ability it's kind of like the debuff that was described earlier where every time you absorb a new mob you experience nausea. So we already saw that before. So let's move on to the next one. Impeded movement. You cannot wear armor stronger than iron. So this is a pretty simple power, but if I get both a diamond chest plate and an iron chest plate, let's go into survival. And if I put on my chest plate for iron, it works perfectly fine, but diamond does not work. So this basically restricts what you can do in the game in terms of progression but also protecting yourself. With the fact that you can control a bunch of mobs and summon them at will, I think this is a pretty good debuff just because 
You can summon minions to do your bidding, so you don't really have to get your hands dirty. All right, and for our last power slash debuff, we have Exhausted. You tire faster than a regular human. So in survival, if you start running or doing anything that exhausts hunger, it will deplete faster. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but then again, is it really an issue when you can summon cows at will? So that was the Suguru Ghetto Origin. It's a pretty simple origin, but pretty fun, especially on multiplayer servers where you can fight people, especially against that Maharaga origin. <laughs> but you can summon anything that you want at will, and also just use it as a general useful ability for moving entities, like making villager farms, any farm in general, or even mob farms. That was a Suguru Ghetto origin, I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to check out Redwood and all of his origins because they are truly amazing and they bring a whole bunch of new concepts into the origin game. I'm not Pug and I will see you next time. Peace.